Hey everyone, I'm back today and I'm partnering with Walmart and I want to kind of create the look that I did in my last video. I've gone through my things and I've tried to choose some things and I'm just curious, like even my favorite mascara, I had just gotten this in the mail and just some different things. I also got some new brushes from Real Techniques that we can try. I really was trying to think, like, why did I love that look so much? I'm really thinking it's the blush, and I think I feel better when I have more blush, and I think I can get away with using more blush when I do that technique of, like, the concealer first and just more of that bronzy look. So that's what we're gonna do today. But while I was downstairs washing my face, there's things that I'm using that I always wanna tell you that I like. And I think I've shown this to you before, but I really like this. It is the Jergens Cloud Cream Breathable Hydration for Comfortably Moisturized Skin with Hyaluronic Complex, Fast Absorbing, No Sticky Feel. Like this morning, I just used it all, you know, like, I had my hair up after I washed my face and I can use it like, you know, like back here and all over and I don't have to worry about my hair sticking to it. It's just one of those that you can use in the morning before you get dressed. And I like to use something like this because I just don't like to even be sticky when I get in the bed or put my pajamas on. So I wanted to tell you about that again. I wanted to tell you about a new razor set that I got. It is so pretty. It's funny, I ordered it and the next thing I know I'm getting the alert that my pickup is ready. So I didn't realize that you could just buy this in the store, but it is the Billy Malibu Starter Kit. It's a razor. And I just wasn't liking the one that I'm using. So I've heard, I'm like in a text group with some girls and they always brag about this one. So I got it and the kit comes with one razor, five blade razor refills and the magnetic holder. And then I ordered this, which I think is so cool. It's like a just squeezy whipped shaving cream, nourishing protection for softness, smoothest shave, coconut oil and aloe vera. Loved it, dermatologist tested. And what I loved about it, I was thinking last night when I used it, what to tell you is different. Ah, comes with a cover. I don't know, I don't know if I left the, it comes with the extra clay. I don't know if I left the main component. Oh no, here it is, it's sticking to it. It comes with this little thing that you just, see how small and, I don't know, just plain it is? You stick that in your shower and then it just sticks right to it. And then what else I like about it is just the shape of it. It was very good for like, you know, all of your crevices and everything. And it's got a good weight to it. Just all those little things, like that's one of the reasons I don't like using the ones that I used to use a long, long time ago when I was young like daisy razors or something. I like something that has a little bit of weight to it. So I was hesitant to put this in my shower, but I think I'm going to, because I'm convinced that I really like this. So I wanted to tell you about that too. Okay, so let's get started. I've got my things out here. This is funny. I even <clears throat> you know, took the two foundations that I used the other day and I went through my myriad of foundations to find the closest thing and just like i said the other day like if you like i saw this one for one thing the name rang a bell like i used to use this or something it's number 310 sun beige but i just liked the tone of it so when i bought it i thought even if it's too dark i'll just add something to it and use this tone so i think this is a good mix of those two so we're going to try this and just go with it. I don't have a real plan. It's just gonna be, you know, that same matte, bronzy look that I love. And we're gonna give my favorite drugstore mascara a run for the money. I got a new one and see if it compares to the one I used the other day. And we're just gonna have fun. I have that you know, the one that they compare to the sticky primer, the milk sticky primer. But I really think this one is even better. And this is the e.l.f. Mint Melt. And that's something else we're concentrating on today is thin layers 
and makeup that will last but still look good. So I'm gonna put two pumps. I probably didn't need that much, but. And I'm just kind of concentrating on the areas that my makeup wears off right here. Let that sit for just a minute and let it not be so tacky and I'll be right back. So let's start off with the I believe beige concealer and I'm gonna put it on my hand and then I'm going to just use a brush to you know since it's not in a wand to put it everywhere I want and really this this brush is good because it's kind of blending too. Okay. I notice a lot of people doing this and I, mean, we, I think we've gotten so used to using sponges for everything, but uh, I think a brush does get it like into your fine lines like a little bit more. You can always go over it with the sponge afterwards. See how pretty this concealer is? It really, I mean, it, it feels like a really nice, rich product. And I will, I have never done that. I've never been one to like sculpt around my lips after I do my lip. Thing. I don't know that I'll do it today, but I want to try it soon. We'll see how this day goes. <laughs> and I was thinking, someone asked me when I was going to be back with Women's Wednesday and everything. Well, today I just kind of wanted to do this because I had it on my mind. I wanted to, um, I like, if I do a look that I really like, sometimes I, I really like doing it with other makeup too. You know, affordable makeup. And to me, this is Women's Wednesday. I don't feel good. I, I not, the fact that I don't feel good makes me not feel good because I do not like to not do everything I want to do. And so I'm just hopefully showing you that persevering and getting up and putting your makeup on and doing the things, even, when I, even the day after my surgery, I got up at 5.30 and I took Will to school because I knew that that would just make me feel worse if I didn't do the things that are important to me. Now, I let John pick him up because I feel like taking him to school is, I want him to have a good day, so I wanted his routine to be the same. But that's part of my, you know, advice on feeling good. Even if you're sick, got a cold or whatever, just think about those things that, you know, even if you don't feel like doing them, take every ounce of strength. Like when I would take Will to school, I would come straight home, take my medicine and get on the couch. Gosh, I did not use a lot of that. So that is a really good, matter of fact, I'm just gonna use a little bit more like where I know I, and the reason my skincare is not fading these spots is because it's actually, and I'm gonna take the real techniques, it's actually uh, broken blood vessels that causes that. And do I want to, I think I might go ahead and go in with this on the eyes a little bit too. Tell me below, do you think using a concealer or foundation on your eyes and then powdering over it, do you think that is just as good as a lid primer? I'm always torn if it is or not. Wow, that's been a good little brush. It was a little set that I got. I think one of, I think you got this one and one of these came free. For the contour, I was watching a makeup artist this morning and she said, don't go straight, because you know, you know what I want to do. I want to do this. But she said to put it on your hand first and then blend it in. So let's try to do that. This is Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in um, Hazelnut. 
So I'm gonna get some out and I'm gonna just put pressure on the wand and roll it like that. And let's use this brush. It is the 405 from Real Techniques. Bounce it in that color and then do our cream contour. Boy, this is um, pigmented. I'm worried about this side. <laughs> but don't be. I mean, it always looks, like I said, it's like cleaning the house. Always looks terrible until it comes right together at the end. Okay. Do I want to use any more? I, the thing about con using a concealer versus, you know what? Hold on just a second. Do you guys remember when Vanessa, the bombshell sweet, told us about this foundation? I texted her because I wanted to know, I couldn't remember what color it was. I remember I bought it, I loved it, but it got, you know, it got given away through the moves. And it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow 209 Caramel. And she was saying how good it looked mixed in with things. And then this is another Fit Me, like I'm using, gonna use 310. This is 332 that's supposed to be such a good shade, Golden Caramel. I'm thinking that for this method, a foundation may be better because I noticed that that concealer, when used on just skin and not foundation, it did not blend as well. It was thicker and it dried quicker. So let's see, just for the heck of it, we're just having fun here. I don't have a grand plan. I'm experimenting with you. I love a transformation, and I feel like sometimes I'm a pretty good transformation, <laughs> and I love the process. Don't they know we like a pump? Okay, so I'm just gonna get some on my hand. So this is that dark color, 332, so I'm gonna be careful with it. But I'm gonna get some on this same brush, yes. I like that. This is a nice brush. Insta pop cheek brush. <laughs> As I use it for foundation, but that's okay. They wouldn't care. Okay. What do you think? I think that is beautiful. Okay, so now let me wipe this off of my hand. I didn't show you, let me show you the color, how pretty it is. Now, let's go in with the true color that I want to use for the foundation, and that is the 310. This color is so pretty. Like when I showed you the Armani colors the other day, and I told you I wanted to mix them. That's what this is. It's not too neutral, but it's not too, let's do this, not too orangey. And when I went to my collection, the first thing I thought of is my favorite, but I had not even opened this one, which is the e.l.f. Halo Setting Powder, Halo Glow. So let me, it, it won't take long for me to figure out if I like this as much. The color's good. And so let me take this, hold on, let me get a lot more out. Okay, so I've got it on a damp, Real Techniques sponge. I'm gonna work it in the sponge. Okay. I think it is. I don't see a lot of glow, which is good. I didn't want it to glow too much. <laughs> is it a little bit lighter? You know what, for the heck of it, and it won't matter in the end, let's use Maybelline on the other side. Tap it off and I'm 
Go over all the places that you know your makeup wears off. And, I mean, this is adding a little bit more coverage and highlight. And it is just really smoothing your pores. And I know that, you know, as mature women, don't use too much powder, don't use too much powder. Well, I know what they're saying, but if you do it in thin layers with a damp sponge and then we spray, it's not gonna be that bad. And I don't have dry skin and I don't live in a dry climate, so keep that in mind too. But I'm looking in the monitor, I don't see a lot of difference in the Maybelline and the e.l.f. What I am gonna do is grab a little bit more of this Maybelline, tap it off in my hand and make sure my eyes are set. Okay, pretty excited. Let's see, what do we want to use as bronzer? I've got, you know, some of these new products I purchased from Physicians Formula, and then I have some other ones that people really like. I think I'm kind of curious about this Milani because this is one that, when I was kind of catching back up on the makeup scene, a lot of people like this one. So let's just see what kind of tone it has. And what brush is this? 202 Instapop Face Brush, okay. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this. And this color is Sunkissed. And you may be thinking, well, why'd you do that? You already had that other there. Remember, thin layers. That was a cream. So now we're gonna set this with this bronzer. Carefully. <laughs> this is more pigmented than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair down so I don't have to be so concerned with that hairline. Okay, and I think that's all I'm gonna do right now, but I'm gonna leave it out just in case I want to use it on my eyes. You remember I have this palette that I really wanted to use, and I thought if nothing else, I would use the black as my liner. But when it comes to contour palettes, like remember I used that contour palette for eyes the other day? This one has always been a favorite, and it's the NYX three steps to sculpt. So I thought, let's try this because it's tried and true with me. Okay, I've got this little eye brush from Real Techniques. I think I got it in that kit and it's perfect. I'm gonna go into, of course, this brown color here. So I'm gonna do the same thing and start in the middle, work in and then flick out. Okay, start in the middle. Work in and up, almost forgot that, and then flick out like that. Same thing, just tapping in that sculpt, start in the middle, go in and flick up, and then flick out. And this is a pretty big brush, so if you want, like if you're feeling like you want more color, you could easily, but gosh, I think that looks so pretty. But, oh shoot, I messed up this one with the concealer. Let me go get one of my other little, I was gonna try not to cookies and dream you to death today, but let me go get those brushes, hold on. Okay, so remember this little brush set that I was telling you about. So now you could take a smaller brush like this, put it in the same color, and you're gonna get even more definition within that. Like that. I think that looks so pretty. I think I'm gonna take this small little smudger brush, put it in the same color, and do a little smudging at the lash line and kind of meet it up. Almost like you're starting out the wing process. I 
And then I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go underneath. Like the highlight matte shade in here and just kind of um, hit this inner right here. And then what's left, I'll go up here. Let's see, what blush are we going to use? This is the Malby Mattes, and then the other one is Strawberry Jam. How can we... But I was thinking we might use one of these blushes. In, you know how I use like more mauve tones in my eyes the other day? So let's see. I'm, I'm just curious to see what this Strawberry Jam is going to look like, too. Look how pretty it is. Okay, I think, I think I'm going to use this mauve one in my eyes a little bit. Let's take that beginning brush we used for the initial color, and let's go into just this mauve tone in the middle and just see what it does. Oh, that is pretty. That is so pretty, you guys. Mm. Okay, now, it smells so good. It's not the typical butter bronzer smell, it's something else. It's kind of a faint light smell. Okay, now let's use this pink color for something. Let's go right here. Right here. That is so pretty, so pretty. And I'm dying to try this little dark color. Let's see what it looks like if we do it on the lash line. It's pretty. Definitely something to try. Okay, now let's try this blush. And I'm going to use this same brush that I used. I'm going to wipe it off on the microfiber. Here, I know what I'm going to do. Okay. The strawberries come off which is good to know because it's going to be different. And I hate to do this, but I'm going to brush my strawberries off. This is so exciting. This is what you're left with. It's this really like dull pink. And I, the other day I could tell I brought my blush in more and on the balls of my cheeks and I actually liked it. That is so pretty. It smells so good. I mean, I think it smells like strawberries. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Glad we tried that too. For brows, I have the NYX Thicket Stick It. This is the brow mascara, vegan formula, and I got taupe. So let's hope for the best here. My brows, I don't think, it's weird. It's like, I feel like my brows aren't that important, but if you mess them up, they'll mess up your look. So I guess they are. Okay, so this is like a mascara. Mm. Thickening brow mascara. Okay, we're gonna be real careful. Wow. Wow. I shouldn't have. I felt kind of negative to it because I felt like it wasn't for me, but that is pretty. If you hear talking, I just, I hear Will and John talking. It's Will's spring break. And, um, wow, guys. That is beautiful. And it's like the color and the stuff in one. And it's, it's not um, like liquidy and it, I don't feel like it's getting all over my skin. I hope you can see. I love it. I could keep going, but I'm going to stop there. And if you are like a real 
really into brows and you like, you could fill in now, you could fill in those sparse areas, but I would rather mine just, I don't want them perfect. I just don't. I just don't think it looks good on my face. That is the one thing that when makeup artists do my makeup, I never like my brows. One time I went to Ulta and I can't remember what company it was that was doing my makeup. But when I met John and the kids, I met them at Fox and the Hound for lunch, Will cried. <laughs> We're doing so good. Now I'm going to take a, I'm going to, I don't, this is black, but it's not like black, 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 black. And I'm going to do my liner with this, you know, angled brush. It's actually probably a brow brush. Um, and tap it off because it looked like it was powdery. And let's do a powdered liner. Yeah, this is definitely not... Well, it is pigmented, but you can't, it's scary because you can't really tap it off that much. Okay, there is fallout. Tell me below what your favorite drugstore and high-end black shadow for using to make liner. Tell me what yours is. Lips. I wanna go ahead and do lips, I feel naked. I am using this same, it's kind of like the Totally Toffee, but it's Almond Rose. I have used this long ago. It is the Maybelline Color Sensational. It is a beautiful, just like you would think, a beautiful rosy, but with not bright. It's the kind of color I like. It's rosy, but it's not like hot pink. Okay, it's a little pinker than I wanted. So let me get my mastermind and mute it down a little bit because I've got a nude that kind of compared a little bit to that gloss the other day. Totally toffee might have been better for this situation. Okay, let me, um, let me just blot this. A lot of that will stay. But thin layers, <laughs> thin layers. This is Matt's It. So this is gonna add, see how it lightens it and adds a little bit more brown. Much better. And then this is the Liquid Cat Suit and it's gonna look crazy at first. Caught you bare naked. But, See how crazy it looks? You have to wait it out. And let it blend with your lip liner. And if it look if it still looks this crazy at the end, I'll do something else. I'll put another color with it. Let's try this mascara. So it's brand new, just like the other one was, but this is my favorite drugstore mascara. I'm trying to, let me make sure my eyes look even here. Looks like I went in further on this side. Okay. Very pretty. If I had to say 
The one I used the other day is, I feel like it might coat, you know, root to tip a little bit better, but you can see how impressive this is. <laughs> I love this lip. I know you guys don't like it, but I'm a 90s girl and the 90s were my 20s. Okay, this one you can build too. So let's bulk it up right here. And leave it like that. I really don't like mascara on my lower lashes. I regret it every, every time. Okay, now, oh, setting spray. This has been my favorite setting spray. Prime Set Refresh, eight hour. So let's do this. Let me do a, boy, this best mister ever. Cool, fresh smell. The only thing I see is I feel like I need either some more brightening or some more powder in the corners of my eyes. I feel like they look dark. The tiniest, tiniest amount. And then did I use this brush? The 449 Tapered Cheek Brush. Man, I had gotten this because I thought it looked so good for um, contour, but we're gonna use this right in here. Did that help? You guys, I don't see a lot of stuff until I edit. Did that help? Very, very pretty. Yay! I love it when I end up really liking the look. I've kind of made a deal with myself that I'm gonna just, if I'm making a video and I don't like the way it looks, I'm not gonna keep going with it. I'm gonna just change it. Okay, I know a lot of you probably do not like this, so let's, let me go find a gloss or something to pink in the slip up a little bit. I've been wanting to try this anyway. This is the NYX This Is Milky Gloss. And the color I chose is Cherry Skimmed. And oh, I love that color. That is beautiful. Okay. I don't want to use, I'll use that same out of the brush. Oh my goodness. I think we just came up. The bad thing, <laughs> I was gonna say, I think we just came up with a combo, but I don't know if you wanna buy two lip liners and two glosses, but oh my goodness. That is just gorgeous. Hey guys, I think we've done it. How do you like it? How do you think it compares to Monday's look, let me know down below. And, oh God, I'm glad I remembered to tell you, these pants that I showed you in my Walmart fashion video, and this is the little cami tank, I have just worn, I bet I have worn them and washed them already, these twice and the ivory ones twice. If you follow me on Instagram, you see the outfit I just posted with the ivory ones. And I just ordered, I think they're rose colored ones, but I love them. So it's just a good, you know, house pair of pants or just to wear out. And that's another thing that even when I feel my worst, I try not to just hang out in pajamas. I try to put on something like this that is just as comfortable, but makes me feel better. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you to Walmart for partnering with me on this video. As always, I enjoy it so much. I love clothes. I love home decor, but I love makeup. I just, makeup is just therapeutic to me. And I hope that you enjoyed watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.